but Prateek is not a call center Indian. He's not a goes to medical school Indian. He's the type of Indian that those other Indians I mentioned call a fucking loser. Yeah. That was a great one, Thanos, with Sammy Sosa disease. <laughs> Kevin says he has a face for radio, but honestly, you have a face for Megan's Law, all right? Oh. My turn? Okay, uh, what he lacks in dick, he makes up for in no other way whatsoever. Yeah. Kevin is a radio DJ and a pro wrestling reporter. What do you make less of, money or eye contact? <laughs> What's going on there, big boy? Big boy. I see you, my big boy. Uh, Pratik thinks that foreplay is him combing his beard. <laughs> uh, that, there's a lot. There's a lot going on in that beard, but what you will not find is the love of a woman. Not enough is said about Kevin's love of magic. He has this great trick where he makes his parents' love for him disappear. Oh. It's a great. Uh, uh, when Preek's not here, he uh, lives in L.A. Yeah, yeah, he puts the B.O. in Bollywood, all right? Yeah, why do I know at some point you're gonna betray Indiana Jones? You know what I mean? Kali Ma! Kali Ma! Kevin has a toddler head, but he's old as fuck. He's older than me. Which way are you reversing? Are you be the curious case of Benjamin Bukaki? What's going on there? <laughs> Wow, someone's, search, someone's gonna be search engine in that later. Yeah, it's a deep cut, baby. Uh, here we go. Give it up for Dollar Store Dalai Lama from Lombard, Illinois over here. Yeah, from Lombard! Yeah. Enchanted Castle, motherfuckers, yeah! That's right, we got an enchanted... Oh, we got a Chuck E. Cheese crowd here, dude. You fucking lost them. That's right, he was born Hindu, but converted Shih Tzu, apparently. Yeah! Kevin's body is like his favorite pro wrestling icon, the double wide steel cage. He's a bit. He's a big boy. Uh, Pratik has a great bit, a uh, great bit about being a racially accurate Jesus. He's a racially accurate Jesus, much like Jesus. He's single in his thirties, only hangs out with dudes, and keeps promising big things are gonna happen. <laughs> One day. But unlike Jesus, no one believes in him. My dick, my dick will rise again, baby. Uh, uh, Kevin Kellum is Irish, uh, which means, gives new meaning to the Irish car bomb. The Irish car bomb is now listening to Kevin Kellum on morning radio. <laughs> Our ratings are going up, everybody. Thinker, it's a thinker. Uh, yeah, he is from Indian culture. They have popular beliefs in reincarnation. Now, a lot of people believe in reincarnation that if you live your life well, you'll be reincarnated as a better version of yourself, okay? Yeah. So currently, based on the way he's living, he will hopefully be reincarnated as someone that women can tolerate and is funny. Okay. I, got, I, got, I got one more. You got one more. I got one more. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, we, we talk a lot about relationships and all, but, but Kevin Callum, your relationship in wrestling terms is like the Spanish announce table, this close to breaking down. You know? <laughs> all right, give it up for them, everybody. Holy shit. Man. It's weird to see like a white guy and then the Indian version of him roast each other. That was oh crazy. Oh boy! Oh that boy! <laughs> I've gained all the hair that Kevin lost. That's basically. I feel like I'm in a fucking sci-fi movie right now. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, one more time for them. They did a great job. Yeah. Yes. Love that. I want to start it off with Stephanie. What did you think of the battle? Oh man, uh, another great battle. Give it up for them. You know. Uh, but it, it was a, a, another battle where it's just like, it's like having sex with men. You're excited at first and then just disappointed at the end. <laughs> uh, but I- I don't find you attractive, Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I hate both of you. Uh, I know. I, great jokes, but uh, Kevin, I, I just think you had some better jokes. So uh, great job, Kevin, I, I give it to you. Kevin gets a vote, give it up for Kevin Gallup. Yes. Brittany, what did you think? Uh, my first thought when I saw both of them get on stage with that was that these two men should not be allowed within 50 feet of an elementary school. <laughs> so one thing you guys have to I am a common. teacher, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's concerning. Okay. <laughs> that is concerning. Um, I'm going to give it to Kevin. What he lacks in Harry makes up for in tight punchline. Cool. So yeah, give it to Kevin. The tight, tight punchline of Kevin Kellum yeah. secures him one more vote. 
I do want Jim's thoughts. Man, nothing makes a room full of women wetter than a couple of 40-year-olds talking about pro wrestling. I think that this... <laughs> what? I think it's my favorite thing about that. And Kevin very bravely making fun of a beard. I like that about him. Uh, for that alone, uh, I'm going with Kevin. Well done, both of you guys. Great Kevin time. gets the win. Yes. However, I want final thoughts from Max Ulrich. Yeah, this is like a Harold and Kumar can't afford White Castle. <laughs> oh, very, very, very fun battle. I think it was probably neck and neck up until Kevin's uh, Jesus joke. I really love that, so I give it to Kevin, but super fun battle. All right, give it up for these two one more time. Killing it up here, second battle. Hey, thanks for watching Roast Battle Chicago. If you guys want to subscribe to our channel, you get even more content, a bunch of it, hours of it for free. And you can hit that little like button down there, hit the subscribe right over here, and check out these videos right over here.